children are most beautiful creation of god they spray fragrance of love a very fine good morning to one and all every child is an individual with a different growth rate and a varied and vast potential even in this pandemic situation we have planned kids gala is to make our students life a memorable one we are respecting the talents that is hidden within each child and also they are potential to become kings of their trade or savior of the world to come kids gala 2020 21 will definitely become a historical moment in every child's school life as this we are conducting it in virtual platform let me now welcome the woman who doesn't need any introduction and no naming all of us for her wisdom and knowledge our honorable principal miss deepa v for welcome speech hi all hello welcome to one and all children of today will make india of tomorrow how we bring them up determines the future of the country these are the words of pandit sri jawaharlal nehru the former prime minister of india and as you all know on november 14 we celebrate children's day to commemorate the birth anniversary of pandit sri jawaharlal nehru and november 20th worldwide we celebrate children's day and in the midst of these two days today on november 18 we are celebrating the children's day in the virtual platform and many of you have participated in the programs like nod and bottle declamation fancy dress king and queue and you have recorded the videos you are all confined to your homes due to the ongoing pandemic but still you all participated with enthusiasm and you have recorded the videos you have sent them all to our class whatsapp groups which we have compiled and today after this formal function you will be seeing all these programs on this virtual platform so you have to stay tuned till the end and today i thought when i thought of giving you a message another important day november 13 came to my mind you know what is the importance of november 13 november 13 is world kindness day a day for kindness so i thought let me tell my dear children to bring out the kind and compassionate person inside you in all of us there is a kind person inside we have to bring them bring it out so i saw so many challenges in the facebook last week work and related to this world kindness day so many teachers and students were saying their cup of kindness and they are challenging the others to do or show their cup of challenge kindness challenge it's not a challenge actually so let me share you share with you what i have done so last month one of my classmates way back in 2004 they were the, both the parents father and mother were my classmates and now their family they have two children one is deaf and dumb and other one is blind and uh, because of this pandemic condition they lost their job and their father is critically ill also so they were in need of money so we friends together we started a fundraising initiative and i also donated to that so that was my cup of kindness now i request all my children not only children all those who are watching this you can do your cup of challenge kindness challenge and to my dear little children i request you to do a kind act and share it with your classmates send that video to your class teacher so that she will share it with her with your classmates in the class whatsapp groups and my dear children i know you don't have money with you 
but still you can do something like that. How? It need not always be money to do kindness. You need not share material things also. You can share your precious time, your knowledge. Now all my children are confined at home, isn't it? You have grandparents at home. You can spend your precious time with your parents instead of playing with your mobile. You can spend your precious time with your grandparents. That is an act of kindness. You can spend time with your father and mother. Help them in their household works. That is also an act of kindness. In your garden, put a pot filled with water. Let the birds come and quench their thirst. That is also an act of kindness. You can feed stray animals. It's an act of kindness. So, we don't need money to do kindness always. All these things value a note. You can do kindness to the environment also. Nowadays, we are doing a lot of destruction to the environment. So, plant a tree or prepare a home garden. That is an act of kindness to our environment. So, this is a children's day week, I will say, because November 14 was India's children's day, we celebrate it. And November 20th is World's Children's Day. So, let's celebrate this week by bringing out the kind person within us. As Nehru said, how we bring to the parents, I am saying, how we bring, out, bring up our children, that depends on the future of the country. So, let us bring up our children as kind and compassionate persons. So that's my message today to you people. And let me introduce and welcome the personalities who have joined this live to address you and to enlighten you. So today's presidential address will be done by Dr. M.K. Muhammad Aslam, the president of School Management Committee. So you know, he's the retired professor of QSAT. And we have a screening committee, including Aslam sir, who will be watching all the videos sent by our teachers, their valuable comments they will be giving, after which only we are sending the videos to you people. So we are indeed lucky to have him in our panel. He is here. Let me welcome him warmly. Then the next person is our manager, Sri C.A. Abdul Nasir sir. A man he will insist. We are not less than anybody. We are the best. al is the best. You can do anything every time he will say. Maybe the tone will not be like this, but since he will say the same. So every time he makes make us believe that we are the best and you can do anything. Nothing is impossible. Even today's, uh, today's program is also his own determination. That determination made this also possible. So let me welcome him wholeheartedly to this program. And then to enlighten you, we have our teachers, Vice Principal Ashamis, Bindu Miss, Shihab Sir. And to wind up the proceedings, we have our head girl, Mariam Mohamed Siddig also with us. So let me welcome you all. And on behalf of Al Khuda, I request you all to stay tuned till the end because once this formal function is over. You can watch your programs live in live over here. So stay tuned till the end. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Next, we have the man of distinct vision and a founding head of illuminating ideas and idol of knowledge and experience and inspiration to all of us. Dr. Muhammad Aslam, President of Al Huda Public School. Sir, I invite you for the presidential address. Okay, thank you. Mr. C.A. Abdul Nazir, Manager of Al Huda Public School, Shimadi Diva Madam, Principal Al Huda Public School, Vice Principal and other teachers, parents, my dear beloved students and all other members of Al-Huda Fraternity, very good morning to one and all. Al-Huda is celebrating a cultural gala today for the kids of Al-Huda. It is not only being enjoyed by the students alone, but with the parents 
and also by the public through Facebook and YouTube, etc. So it is actually an event of our children. Every child see the world the way as it is now. What is seen by them will be in their minds all the world undivided by any boundaries like uh, gender, color, caste or religion, etc. We only imbibe that kind of boundaries in their minds. As such, or as at now, they are always united in every aspect and free from any biases. Children always cherish every festival and they always welcome every chance to celebrate any occasion, whether it is uh, a religious festival like uh, Onam, Bakrid, Christmas, Vishu, or cultural festivals organized through various agencies or various communities or through various religions like uh, Shivaratri, Thalapali, etc. They, whenever they get any chance, they will go for celebration. If it is a birthday, again, they will be happy to celebrate it. So in schools, any celebration that is organized and it delivered innovatively will teach a lesson to the students. Any celebration that is organized and delivered will teach a lesson to the, the students. It may be through colors, craft, dance, music, and even any sort of fun that is organized will teach them a lesson. By participating in all these, they are joining in the cult, locate the differences from them in it. So, in a way, they are joining the cultural heritage of one another. Today, Alhuda is conducting a virtual cultural mela for their own kids. It's a virtual mela. Again, it is a lesson. It's on a new platform, not on any dice, but on internet. Again, it teaches them a different lesson. This year only they have gone through or they have get experienced in using internet or attending virtual classes. Now they are going for a cultural gala, a festival, an occasion to celebrate. It is also through internet. Let them enjoy it rather than we enjoy. At this moment, I have Nothing more to say to my own children. Your principal have given you a good message. Act of sympathy. Act of kindness. You can give it to individuals. You can give it to the environment. So, be positive always with the words given by your respected principal. I wish my children of Alhuda the time ahead of the day with full of happiness and togetherness. Thank you. Thank you very much. Be blessed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, let me call another idealistic personality, a facilitator and a motivator, Sri C.A. Abdul Nasir, manager of Al Huda Public School for the keynote address. Sir, Bismillah Rahman Rahi Alabata Dayavaran Karna Varidi, my provinces have in the Namath. Aluhuda Kurumbatili, Rengarna Saradi, 
ഡോക്ടർ കെ മുഹമ്മദ് അസ്ലം ബഹുമാനിയായ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽ ശ്രീമതി ദീപ മറ്റ് വിശിഷ്ട വ്യക്തിത്വങ്ങളെ പ്രിയമുള്ള അധ്യാപകരെ അനധ്യാപകരെ വിദ്യാർത്ഥി വിദ്യാർത്ഥിനികളെ മാതാപിതാക്കൾ ഒരുപാട് ഒരുപാട് സന്തോഷമുള്ള ഒരു മുഹൂർത്തത്തിലാണ് നാം ഉള്ളത് നമ്മുടെ അലുഹദയിലെ കുട്ടികൾ കിഷ്ഗാല ട്വന്റി ട്വന്റി വൺ എന്ന ഒരു കൾച്ചറൽ പ്രോഗ്രാമിലാണ് നാം എല്ലാവരും ഉള്ളത് നമുക്കെല്ലാവർക്കും അറിയാം ഒരുപാട് പ്രതിസന്ധി നിറഞ്ഞ ഒരു കാലഘട്ടത്തിലൂടെയാണ് നാം കടന്നുപോയിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് എന്നിരുന്നാൽ തന്നെയും പഠനത്തോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ പഠ്യേതര വിഷയങ്ങളിലും മറ്റു കൾച്ചറൽ പ്രോഗ്രാമിലുമൊക്കെ കുട്ടികൾ വളരെ നല്ല നിലയിൽ പങ്കെടുത്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് കാലങ്ങളായി കണ്ടു ശീലിച്ച ഒരു അധ്യയന വർഷമല്ല നാം കടന്നുപോയിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ഈ ഒരു വർഷം മാത്രവുമല്ല എല്ലാ കാലഘട്ടങ്ങളിലും ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന ഒരു സിസ്റ്റവുമല്ല ഒരു ബ്ലണ്ടഡ് ലേണിംഗ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു സിസ്റ്റത്തിലൂടെയാണ് വെർച്വൽ പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോമിലൂടെയാണ് നാം കടന്നുപോയിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് കുട്ടികളും അധ്യാപകരും പുതിയ ചുവടുവെപ്പുകളുമായി പുതിയ രീതിശാസ്ത്രങ്ങളും പുതിയ സംരംഭങ്ങളുമൊക്കെയായി നാം ഒരു ട്രാക്കിൽ വളരെ ഭംഗിയായി പൊക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് ഇതൊക്കെ പരീക്ഷിച്ച് പുതിയ പുതിയ പതിവുകളിലേക്കാണ് നാം എത്തിച്ചേർന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് തീർച്ചയായും അധ്യാപകരോടൊപ്പം മാതാപിതാക്കളും അവിടെ വളരെ നല്ല രീതിയിലുള്ള ഒരു സപ്പോർട്ടാണ് സ്കൂളിനും അതിനേക്കാളുപരി കുട്ടികൾക്കും കൊടുത്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് തീർച്ചയായും അവരും പുതിയ പുതിയ പതിവുകളിലെ ന്യൂ നോർമൽ എന്നാണ് പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് വളരെ വളരെ സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ എനിക്ക് ചെറിയ എനിക്ക് പറയാനുള്ള ചെറിയൊരു ഉപദേശം കുട്ടികൾ കാണുന്ന സ്വപ്നങ്ങളെ മാതാപിതാക്കൾ ഒരിക്കലും തല്ലിക്കെടുത്തരുത് അവരെ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല രീതിയിൽ പ്രോത്സാഹിപ്പിക്കുക ചേർത്ത് പിടിക്കുക അവരെ സ്വപ്നങ്ങളെ ചിന്തകളെ നിങ്ങൾ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല രീതിയിൽ കാണുകയും പ്രോത്സാഹിപ്പിക്കുന്നതിനോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല വായനാശീലമുള്ള കുട്ടികളായി ചില്ഡ്രൻസ് ഡേ ആണ് കടന്നു പോയത് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് അതിനെ കുറിച്ച് ഉണർത്തേണ്ടുന്ന ഒരു സംഗതിയല്ല കാരണം നമ്മുടെ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾ അതിനെ കുറിച്ചൊക്കെ സംസാരിച്ചു എന്നിരുന്നാൽ തന്നെ ഒരു കാര്യം എനിക്ക് ഓർമ്മ വരുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ തൊട്ടടുത്ത പ്രദേശമായ ഇടപ്പള്ളി ഗ്രേഡി കുര്യൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു കുട്ടി പത്താം ക്ലാസ്സിൽ പഠിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കുട്ടി എനിക്ക് ശാസ്ത്രജ്ഞനാകണം എന്ന് അദ്ദേഹം സ്റ്റീഫൻ ഹോക്കിങ്സിന് ഒരു കത്തയച്ചു കുറെ നാളുകൾക്ക് ശേഷം സ്റ്റീഫൻ ഹോക്കിങ്സിന്റെ റിപ്ലൈ വന്നു നിങ്ങൾ ശാസ്ത്രജ്ഞനാകണം എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾ തീർച്ചയായും സ്വപ്നം കാണുക നിങ്ങളെ കാലുകളിലേക്ക് നോക്കിയല്ല നിങ്ങൾ സഞ്ചരിക്കേണ്ടത് നിങ്ങൾ ആകാശത്തേക്ക് നോക്കി നക്ഷത്രങ്ങളെ നോക്കിയാണ് നിങ്ങൾ സഞ്ചരിക്കേണ്ടത് തീർച്ചയായും ഭാവിയിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്കൊരു ശാസ്ത്രജ്ഞനാകാൻ കഴിയും തീർച്ചയായും മാതാപിതാക്കൾ അധ്യാപകരോടൊപ്പം ചേർന്ന് കുട്ടികളെ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല നിലയിൽ ചാനലൈസ് ചെയ്യുക നമുക്ക് വഴികാട്ടികളാകുന്ന കുട്ടികളായി നല്ല മക്കളായി വളർത്തി കൊണ്ടുവരിക അവരെ നമ്മൾ പഠിച്ച വരുന്ന രീതിയല്ല പഠിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരുന്ന രീതിയല്ല കുട്ടികളുടെ ഇന്നത്തെ കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ അവർ സഞ്ചരിച്ചു കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് ഏറ്റവും നല്ല രീതിയിലൂടെ അവരെ നാം സമന്വയിപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നല്ല മാർഗത്തിലൂടെ മുന്നോട്ട് നയിക്കുക ഏറ്റവും നല്ല മക്കളായി അലഹുദയിലെ ഏറ്റവും നല്ല കുട്ടികളായി വളർന്ന് പന്തലിച്ച് സമൂഹത്തിനും നാടിനും വീടിനുമൊക്കെ നല്ല കുട്ടികളായി വളരട്ടെ എന്ന് ആത്മാർത്ഥമായി പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ വാക്കുകൾ അവസാനിപ്പിക്കുകയാണ് മാതാപിതാക്കൾ കുട്ടികളെ എല്ലാത്തരം പ്രോഗ്രാമുകളിലും പങ്കെടുപ്പിക്കുക ഏറ്റവും നല്ല നിലയിൽ അവരെ പ്രോത്സാഹിപ്പിക്കുക നമ്മളെ എല്ലാവരെയും അനുഗ്രഹിക്കുമാറാകട്ടെ നന്ദി നമസ്കാരം താങ്ക് യു സർ നൗ ഐ ഹാംലി ഇൻവൈറ്റ് ശ്രീമതി ആശാ സി വി വൈസ് പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽ ഓഫ് അൽഹുദാബിക് സ്കൂൾ ഫോർ ഫെലിസിറ്റേഷൻ Respected Aslam Sir, Manager Nassi Sir, Principal Deva Ma'am, and dear parents and children and all those who are present here, a very good morning to all. Hope all are doing very well and safe. There is a garden in every childhood, an enchanted place where colors are bright, air is fresh and mornings are more fragrant than ever again. Every child comes with a message that The board is not yet discouraged of man. The best thing about children and childhood days are they enjoy their day without thinking about the future. They, they always have a time for everything to explore 
and to learn new things. The art is a way of learning, exploring and revealing. Art has a great role in education of helping children become like themselves instead of more like other one, any, everyone else. Even during this pandemic situation, our children have done a marvelous performance and we are very proud for them. Let me congratulate all those children who are go, going to perform in this Kids Fest in connection with Children's Day. And I conclude my words by congratulating all of them and wish them all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Ashamas. Now, I cordially invite Srimati Bindu S, Department Head of Social Science, for felicitation. Respected Abdul Muhammad Asmin Sir, Abdul Nafi Sir, Principal, parents, teachers, and my dear students. We've been celebrating this children's day for the 51 years. Children are the valuable assets and the future of our nation. They are the treasures who should be given love, affection, and protection from all harm. Along with education and skills, it is exactly what we provide here in Alhuda Public School that every Alhudiya will show the heart of success in their life. My dear children, with fire of big steam flaming in your eyes and boundless depths of love in your unbiased heart, you have the power to make impossible happen. The sense for it is within you. All you have to do is believe in yourself. May God give you strength to reach the thoughts without losing your innocence and warmth of your heart. I would like to convey my regards to the parents and teachers in this day because their unconditional ties to mold, shape, and polish these diamonds to shine in this world. I wish all a very happy to meet you. Thank you. Thank you, Bindomas. Now, it's my privilege to invite Sri Shihab K, Department Head of Value Education, for felicitation. School President Aslam Saab, School Manager Nasir Saab, School Principal Dibama.
കുട്ടികളാവുമ്പോൾ അമ്മ അമ്മനെ അമ്മച്ചനെ വേദനിപ്പിക്കുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളൊന്നും മക്കൾ ചെയ്യരുത് മുത്തിയമ്മ പോയിട്ട് വരാം organic farmer organic farming is society's greatest gift for for positive change manari Stay home. 
Yeah. 
Good morning, ma'am and teachers. Do you know who am I? Yes, I am a tree. I am flowers, fruits, wood, cotton, medicine, etc. I take carbon dioxide. I and I give oxygen. Protect tree, protect earth, protect and futures. Thank you. Ha 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 ha! Do you know me? I am a coronavirus. I give you. Fever, <coughs> cough, breathe problems, use sanitizer, wear mask, wash your hands with soap one minute. Stay away from me, stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Swami Vivekananda, Uttishtada, Jagrada, Namuda Jivita Tinde Sandosham, Namuda Matran Kaikari, Chennatuna Devade Magate, Satyatina Pindu Deruga, Vida Veda Kandir Tudakan, Anadani Ahara Murakata, Mada Tilum Deva Tilmin to be shot and in
புத்தரி பாடம் கண்டோ கண்டோ புத்தரி பாடம் படித்து கேட்காம நல்லொரு பாடம் ஆடாகே மாறியாலும் படங்கள் போயாலும் படித்து கேட்காம நாடன் பாட்டு நம்மளும் பாடும் முந்தே கண்டோ 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 கல்லக்கரிங்க அது போயாது கண்டோ மனந்தொழிஞ்சது கண்டில்ல பெண்ணே சுருந்து வழியின நேரத்து புத்தரி பாடத்து புஞ்ச விதக்கான் போகண்டே புண்ணே குஞ்ஞா துணைவா கண்டோ 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 ஒவ்வொன்னு பாட்டு நேரம் பாட்டு தரக்கப்பின்னாலே காத்திராடும் நெறியாலே தம்புதானத்தேடும்ேதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரதாரத
close up, but a gory long shot. Rough but the principal, teacher, parents, and my dear friends. I am Mohammed Hassan, going to deliver a few words on the great religion, the Charlie Chaplin. We all wanted to have it. humanity and the human being are like that. Too. The world has room for everyone. The earth is richer and it can provide for everyone. We have developed spirit, but we have shut ourselves in. More than missionary, we need humanity. More than governors, we need kindness and gentleness. Without this crisis, let will be violent and lost. Father, who can hear me? I say, the mystery that is now upon us is past, but passing our fear the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and the dictators die and the power they took from the people will return back to the people. You have love humanity in your hearts. Hey, soldier! Don't fight for slavery, but fight for liberty. You people have the power, power to create the machine, the power to create happiness, the power to make this life free and beautiful. Let us use this power. Let us unite and fight for a new world. Kanda kanda, manat kanda, chaki parind parakkanad. Belli mamal mele parakkana chaki parindinda terotam. Kanda kanda, manat kanda, chaki parind parakkanad. Belli mamal mele parakkana chaki parindinda terotam. Nalu padam padat vellam vellati nanda kalikkanad. Teli vellati lodi kalikkana belli parindinda terotam. Kanda kanda, manat kanda, chaki parindu parakkana du. Vindi mamala mele parakkana chaki parindu indu thero ottam. Ello lam thari punnam dina thani thanjavu uru pattam dina. Thangam chiliyana pattu dhirangana chandam dina thari. Kandu kodhi chava chandu kondangum, kandu kandu karakkadi. Kandu poli parakkadi. கல்லு மாலக்காதல் கம்மலதில்லேலும் அராரோ கண்ணுதல் சிம்மும் கண்ணிக்கதிரானே கல்லும் புள்ளை போலே முள்ளுதல் அல்லேலும் அலுவி கல்லியாவலுடே நுள்ளுரும் உள்ளானே எல்லாலம் தெரிப்புன்னன் தீனத்தனி தஞ்சாவுரு பட்டன் தீனா தங்கம் தேனியானா பட்டு திலங்கன சந்தம் நினக் காடி கண்டு கோதிச்ச வர் சென்டு கொண்டங்கும் பண்டு பண்டு கரக்காடி வண்டு போலி பரக்காடி கண்டோ கண்டோ பெரிப்பாணி
തുഞ്ചന്റെ പൈങ്കിളി പാടിയ പാട്ടും പാടി ഉണരട നാട് താരീളം ചുണ്ടിൽ മാപ്പിളശീലിൻ മധുരം കിനിയും നാട് തെയ്യവും കഥകളി നാവേ പാടിയ നാടിത കേരമരങ്ങൾ താഴിക പൊൻകുടമേന്തി നിര നിന്നേ കണി കാണും പുലരിയിൽ തെളിയു ശമരിൽ മാമ്പു മഞ്ഞവും തൂകി കേരള മാമക കേരള നാട്ടിൽ തുഞ്ചന്റെ തുഞ്ചന്റെ പൈങ്കിളി പാടിയ പാട്ടും പാടി ഉണരണ നാട് താരീളം ചുണ്ടിൽ മാപ്പിളശീലിൻ മധുരം കിനിയും നാട് ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ടു ഓൾ ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡെലിവർ ദ സ്പീച്ച് ഓഫ് എ പി ജെ അബ്ദുൽ കലാം ഹു വാസ് ദ മിസിയൽ മാൻ ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ we should know how to handle not only how to handle the success how to handle the failures particularly if you are in the management environment like you are voten yet i want the young people to understand how to manage the failure because any task you do you have to come across problem problem should not become the captain of the in- dear principal teachers and my dear friends today we have gathered here to rejoice children's day which marks the birth anniversary of pandit jawaharlal nehru independence india's first prime minister on number 14th pandit nehru was born and was extremely popular among children and was called chacha nehru He was a prominent leader and more freedom fighter that fought hard for India's independence and avowed in as the country's first prime minister in 1947. He served as the prime minister of the country for over 16 years and made India a world leader. During his rule, he advocated for compulsory education to children and was very vocal about his rights. He believed in the belief that children are the future of the nation and therefore it is essential to nurture and educate them properly. Children's Day is not at all meant to give gifts to children and to organize proceedings for them. It is a day to realize their significance in nation building and to provide them with an occasion to release their wings and fly high to obtain their goals. He always said that every country has to provide quality education to their children and ensure that they enjoy good health. Each state must empower its young minds as they are the future generations and the development of the country depends on them. Chacha Nehru once said that today's children will create tomorrow's India and the way we bring them will determine the future of the country. And on this, Children's Day takes a pledge to ensure that every child in this country has equal rights, safety and quality education. We are handing over their future to and one of our darkness by not taking a stand against child labor and providing primary education to every child. If each of us stay focused towards freeing India from its evil, will our country proceed in becoming a truly independent country? India which was conceived by Pandit Nehruji and our, all our great leaders. Once again, I extend my heartfelt greetings. However, we must also remember that our responsibility is to work towards a better society a better india thank you namaskaram nanaal ningalude tamasvi avarude enude chinna mark internet pe ningal ellavaru enne vote cheyada vijayadikanengil ും ചുറ്റും വെച്ചും 
ince sütüne atmıştır. Yombal bende önce keçerlere bekleyin. Keçer ki sütüyelim pencere sonu. Keçer ki işçi bu, işçi ile kuvvanı açar bu. Allah açı ince sütüne atmıştır.
Dear principal, teachers and my dear friends, today we have gathered here to rejoice Children's Day which marks the birth anniversary of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Independence India's first Prime Minister. On November 14th, Pandit Nehru was born and was extremely popular among children and was called Chacha Nehru. He was a prominent leader and more freedom fighter. Their dreams when they was the former president of England. So let's get started. You should stand for a culture of excellence. That the culture is not by an accident. It's the process where an individual strives to better oneself, and the performances are set up by themselves as they have to move towards their dreams with focus, and are prepared to take the calculated risk and. Don't get detained by the failures. And then they step up their dreams when they tend to reach their original target. Good morning everyone. These are the words of Muniba Manzari, the inspiring Iron Lady of Pakistan. She delivered the speech on a public program. She is a great inspiration for all of us. So let's hear her words. They see my disability, I see my ability. They call me disabled, I call myself differently abled. There are some incidents that happen in your life. Those incidents break you, deform you, but they mold you into the best version of you. And the same thing happened to me. I was 18 years old when I got married. My father wanted me to get married. And all I said was, if that makes you happy, I'll say yes. And of course, it was never a happy marriage. Just about after two years of getting married, I'm in a car accident. Somehow, my husband fell asleep and the car fell into a ditch. He managed to jump out, saved himself. I'm happy for him. But I stayed inside the car and I sustained a lot of injuries. The list is a bit long. Don't get scared. My wrist was fractured, my shoulder bone and collar bone were fractured, my whole ribcage got fractured, and because of the ribcage injury, legs and liver were badly injured. I couldn't breathe, I lost urinal bowel control, and that's why I had to wear a bag wherever I go. Three vertebra of my backbone were completely crushed. I got paralyzed for the rest of my life. I finally ended up in a hospital where I stayed for two and a half months. I underwent multiple surgeries. One day, doctor came to me and he said, Well, I heard that you wanted to be an artist, but you ended up being a housewife. I have a bad news for you. Because you're... You won't be able to paint again. Because your arm and your wrist are so deformed, you won't be able to hold the pen again. Next day, doctor came to me and he said, your spine injury is so bad, you won't be able to walk again. And because of, because of your spine injury and the fixation that you have in your back, you won't be able to give birth to a child again. That day, I was devastated. I asked my mother, why me? And that is where I started to question my existence that, why am I even alive? And that is where I realized that the words have the power to heal the soul. My mother said to me, this too shall pass. God has a greater plan for you. I don't know what it is, but he surely has. And in all that distress and grief, somehow or the other, those words were so magical that they kept me going. One day, I asked my brothers, I know that I have a deformed hand, but I am tired of looking at these white walls in the hospital and wearing these white scrubs. I want to do something. I want to add more colors to my life. Bring me some colors, bring me some small canvas, I want to paint. And the very first painting I made was on my deathbed where I painted for the very first time. It was not just an art piece or just my passion, it was my therapy. And then I was discharged from the hospital and I went back home. And I went home and I realized that I had developed a lot of pressure ulcers on my back and on my hip bone. I was unable to sit. There were a lot of infections in my body, a lot of allergies. So doctors wanted me to lie down on the bed straight. For not six months, for not one year. For two years, I was bedridden, confined in that one room, looking outside the window, listening to the birds chirping, and thinking that maybe there will be a time we will be going out with the family and enjoying the nature. And that is where I realized that how lucky people are. 
and they don't consider themselves like key and that is where i realized that the day i'm going to sit i'm going to share this pain with everyone to make them realize how blessed they are and that is that day i decided that i'm going to fight my fears we all have fears fears of unknown fears of losing people fears of losing health money we want to become famous we want to excel in career we want to get money we are scared all the time so i wrote down one by one all those fears you know what was my biggest fear divorce i was trying to cling up to a person who didn't want me anymore but i said no i have to make it work but the day i decided that this is nothing but my fear i liberated myself by setting him free i made myself emotionally so strong that the day i got the news he's getting married they sent him a text that i wish you all the best and they sent him a text that i'm so happy for you and i wish you all the best and he knows that and he know that now i pray for him today and number 2 was i won't be able to be a mother again that was quite devastating for me but then i realized that there are so many children in the world all they want is acceptance so there's no point in crying just go and adopt one people think that they will not be accepted by other people because we in the world of perfect people are imperfect so i decided that instead of studying an ngo for disability awareness which i know will not help an, a, a, anyone i started to appear more in public i started to paint and i decided that i'm going to join the national tv of pakistan as an anchor person and i have been doing a lot of shows for the past 3 years and i became the national goodwill ambassador for un of pakistan and uh, now i speak for the rights of women children we talk about inclusion diversity and gender equality which is a must and every time i go on public i always smile there's always a duty smile on my face and people ask me don't you get tired of smiling all the time what's the secret i always say one thing that i have stopped worrying about the things i have lost the people i have lost things and people who are meant to be with me are with me and sometimes somebody's absence makes you a better person cherish their absence it's always it's always it's always a blessing in disguise live your life fully accept yourself the way you are be kind to yourself be kind to yourself i repeat be kind to yourself then no way you can be kind to others love yourself and spread that love life will be hard there will be trials there will be turmoils but that will only make you stronger when you accept yourself the way you are the world recognizes you it all starts from within thank you taraga pennale kadiradum miliyale tamburane tidu munne karingaram kora parichaate taga taga taakte nandaga tidara taga tinandaga tidara taakte nandaga taga tinandaga taga tinandaga tidara taakte nandaga tidara taga tinandaga tidara taakte nandaga taga tinandaga taga tinandaga tidara